Hello and welcome to this Dr. Ross Maths key skill video on knowing key terms in relation to circles. So I'm going to just draw a big circle. That's a pretty circly circle there. And let's draw different features of the circle. Now firstly, there's a special name for the perimeter of a circle. And that line that goes around the edge of the circle, the perimeter, that is known as the circumference. So when you see the words, the circumference of a circle, we just mean the perimeter of the circle. Now, if we have the center of the circle here, and we have a line that connects the center of the circle to the circumference, that is known as the radius of the circle. And if we have a line that goes all the way across the circle through the center, that is known as the, the diameter of the circle. And notice that the diameter of the circle is twice the length of the radius. Now there's a few more terms we need to know. If I have two lines like this and I've got this area in the middle, like a pizza slice, that is known as a set of the circle. So the set of a circle is like a pizza slice and it's basically the area between two radiuses, two radii of the circle and the circumference. And if we were to just have a portion of the perimeter of the circle, so just this bit of line here, that is known as an arc of the circle. So an arc is just a portion of the circumference. And a few more terms, let's just say we have a line segment that connects two points on the circle, but they don't have to be opposite points like with the diameter. Now that is known as a chord of the circle. And if that chord of the circle does pass through the center of the circle, then that is known as a diameter. So a diameter is just a special case of a chord where the two points are at opposite ends of the circle. And this area that's between the chord and the circumference of the circle is known as a segment. And the way I remember segment is that it looks a bit like an orange segment. So an orange segment has that kind of shape, doesn't it? And that's why it's called a segment. And the final few words to learn about circles is if you have a line which touches the circle, that is known as a tangent of the circle. It comes from the word tangier in French, I believe, which means to touch. So this is a straight line which touches the circle. And I'm just going to add one final word, which is only used in uh, Edexcel IGCSE. But if you have a line that cuts through the circle like that and is infinitely long, then that is known as a secant. So a secant is a line that just goes through the circle as opposed to a tangent, which just touches the circle. It comes from the French secaire, which means to cut. And you might wonder, well, what's the difference between a chord and a secant? Well, a chord is a finitely long line which only goes between two points on the circle, whereas a secant is an infinitely long line which cuts through the circle and comes out the ends of the circle.